Got a chin. There's the Lombard MMA team again making that walk, folks. We have here Thomas Traxler. You guys have had some things to say as far as what this guy brings to the cage here. Uh, what do you think of this athlete? This guy is a warrior. He went up two weight classes to save the first K4 show. Fought a guy at like 180. This fight said 45. I mean, he went up such an amount. And he took the L, but like he fought the whole time, went to decisions. He didn't get owned. He came back, he gave him another shot. And the co-main event, he walked in, stopped one of Keith's guys in a minute 35, choked him dead. It was amazing. And he was supposed to fight another uh, undefeated wrestler today, and they lost that fight. The fight fell out like a week ago. And now he's signed up to fight this guy, Jaden Peters, who's a tall, long striker, and they're doing it in Muay Thai. So his whole camp has probably been set to wrestle. So I can't wait to see what he's going to do right now. That is bravery personified. Not just change the rule set, but the type of opponent, completely everything. It's like crumple up what you've done the past six weeks, throw that in the garbage and And, and you forgot, Caveman, he got a cool corn stash. <laughs> <laughs> he definitely does have that. And I'm excited to call Jaden Peters fight, first fight in K4. He's a Sugar Shane Mosley lookalike. Wait till you see him in the cage. He moves just like him, too. You know what he looks like is that uh, that pro wrestler that switched over to Bare Knuckle, <laughs> Gallagher. I don't know who that is, but yeah. You know anything about Jaden Peters? Yeah, dude, he moves like Sugar Shane. His stand-up is undeniable, and he is tall. There's a huge height in this match between these two guys. Hopefully, I would like to see them run this one back in MMA as well in K4. He almost looks a bit like the uh, Eastern... MMA star there, James Carroll out of Brian Beer. He's got some cool tattoos. <laughs> yeah, he does got some cool tattoos. Wait till you see him move, though. He moves very well. I know a lot of people are very high on this kid and the potential that he brings. And this here is where it all starts. This is where you can make those dreams happen as he combats for out. His jiu-jitsu is pretty good, too, man. I watched uh, a couple of fights leading into this because he has a different opponent as well. And he's got arm bars. He's got chokes. He's good everywhere. So I'm really high on this guy. I can't wait to see him really rise through the ranks of K4. But this I'm not selling uh, uh, the short. 145 pounds. Introducing first in the Buffalo Cryo Blue Corner. He represents Lumpa MMA, hailing from State College, Pennsylvania. Standing at five foot six, official weight of 144.8 pounds. He is tied. Traxler! And his opponent fighting out of the green leaf red corner. He represents Synthesis Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. He hails from Newark, New York. Standing at 6 foot 1. Just once, I wish I had the cool hair coming like this guy. And 43.6 pounds. He is Jaden! Look at the hype mismatch. But as you said, Thomas Traxler, the type of guy you could put a gun in his face and still not count him out. No, nope, he would not quit. He probably wouldn't even blink. This is an interesting matchup. I love to see the hype dynamics. Can he get inside? We're going to find out right now. Traxler sizing him up. Nice, looking for a catch right off the bat. Push him on the cage, exchanges in the cage. He's doing a really good job closing distance already. Yeah, he's definitely got to stay in close, um, close range. Also combination, body to the head, the head to the body. Um, the theme here tonight for the taller fighters has been to kind of stay at range, pick these guys yep. apart. Let's see if the same. Oh, big by shot by Trexler. Yep, that same range, just that jab. Ooh, there goes the head kicks. Nice. The big advantage you have is you're punching down as a tall man, so your punches have just a little bit more pop in them. Jaden used that jab, that should be good. And his body kick is like a head kick on Trexler, because Trexler's abnormally short for the weight as well. That was a nice little touch on the jaw. Nice, good leading. These Lombard guys are so tough. Yeah, they, they are. 
Techler, uh, you know, he's short, but uh, he's coming from a strong team. So, so if your track slows down, what tricks do you use to try to close that distance, get in, use that power to put this fight away? I think he should do everything that he's doing now, except he's got to abandon trying to catch those leg kicks. Jaden's already sizing him up. He's going to go to the head soon. He's going to go low and go to the head. See, Trexler's doing a really good job getting in off of his strikes, and then he falls into the cage, puts him on a cage, and gets his damage in and gets off. So he's doing a really good job. I think he's owning this round. He's controlling the distance. But he has to be careful that Jaden isn't sizing him up for things like that uppercut and that head kick. You can see he's got, like, his computer running right now. Nice punch yeah. by Trexler, though. And that's what he needs to do. Push the issue here, like I was saying earlier with another fight. You really need to put the pressure on. Oh, Jaden looks fatigued. Already. <laughs> that's a bad sign. I was going to say, not a good look if you're in that red corner to have your fighter grabbing the knees and breathing happy. Yeah. Now, Chuckler coming from a strong gym, they see that. What do you think they're going to tell him, Kevin? He's a wrestler. He knows, he knows that grind. Wrestlers are a different breed. Wrestling, I think, probably one of the more uh, grueling things that you can do. I'm very impressed by Trexler. I did not think the fight was going to go like this at all. Uh, he's always been a wrestling dominant MMA type fighter and to show that his level of striking is this high is exciting to see. Well, it goes kind of with, you know, you see it in UFC guys that have that, that specialty like Gilbert Burns, for example, was known as the jiu-jitsu guy for so long and then he started coming in here and murking fools with the right and left hands. You get that label put on you, sometimes you're surprised when you find otherwise. This break seems abnormally long. That is... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I know we just have, I had a full cup of coffee and conversation yeah. here in between rounds. I have two sips of Rockstar, so I know that, uh, I know it was a long one. You sure you had coffee? Or you was like, good leaf. Dispensary. Good leaf. <laughs> and Zerko. You gotta be careful, you spend too much time at good leaf, you can't go to Armstrong's Armory. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's true. Like I said earlier, you got to use Armstrong's Armory and Good Leaf Hemp Co. to have smoke coming out of your blunt and your Mark barrel. Your barrel yeah. <laughs> Jane Peters looks very fatigued. Mouth is open. Slowing down a little bit. Changing stances now. Good work by Trexler to come in again. Yeah, and he's still able to explode. Oh, forward. he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt here. What a flurry here. They're grappled up. Oh, nice oh, right hand. Good work. Man, he oh, is he's coming, boy. He's Whoa, coming. big right hand. Jaden seems okay. I like how he ducks and goes under him and grab him. Now, Jaden did oh. not have a full camp here. Do you feel like that could be part of the, the cardio issue? It could definitely be part of the cardio issue. He came in last minute, but. It's Rexler, man. He's a not too deep into this fight. He just fought a few months ago. He should be in pretty good shape, you would imagine. Unless he does the Patty Pimblet in between fights. Yeah, you know? hopefully not. Hopefully Patty Pimblet's not setting uh, examples for good people. There we go. Now he's starting to touch him up a little bit. He's got a long way to go to make up. I think he's down two rounds. That's what he should be doing, going to the head. Tom looks very relaxed right now. He feels it. Deep breath again by Jamie Peters. Oh, yeah, look at him. You can see even that kick kind of looks slightly labored Very there. labored. Yep. See how he can finish out these last 30 seconds, get back to the stool as Trexler tries to close the distance. Jane's doing a good job going to the body right now. He's oh, trying to put more work. Nice kick to the uh, knee to the body. Trexler's left hand off. Oh, the Trexler with the right hand. Really nice I mean, Jaden with the right hand. Not bad. Oh, nice job from Jaden's doing his paw. He keeps touching him on the face instead of just punching him. Does he not respect the power of Peters, though? Because you see a lot of guys, when you fight a power guy, you're not going to want to use that pawing jab. You just want to snap their head back and get the respect. Yeah. I feel like maybe he doesn't. Uh, he came in, he just thought he was going to walk over Thomas Trexler just by the height and the reach advantage. And seeing that Tom is such a good wrestler. But man, I'm so impressed by Thomas Trexler. I'm impressed with him too. That was a beautiful Sherelle walking around. And she's a, and she's a good fighter too. She'll beat you up. Definitely will. She'll beat you up though. Last minute instructions. What do you think he's telling him in the corner? I, I mean, I would tell him you made a terrible decision putting me in your corner. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
but I would assume he's telling him he's really got to start using that range that he's got, the long arms. They're still on the stool, man. I don't know. He's very animated in the corner, too. This is, these have been really long breaks, and his coach is very animated. Are they going over that one minute mark, or how long is it allowed in between rounds? It's I supposed noticed. to be one minute. I think I'm going to run my timer on the next one. This is these are this is the first fight where it seems very long. I was at an event, I can't remember where it was, and they allowed two minutes in between. Um, different states have different rules for the the rounds too. Like in PA, it's a minute and a half for the first couple fights. Speaking to a comment earlier, both these guys have MMA fights and not wearing high gear too, so it must be MMA fights count. Well, there we go. We've got that riddle solved. We can uh, see if we can find Tom Kilkenny around here somewhere. We do got to ask Keith about that knockout earlier and find out where he feels that ranks in K4 history. Definitely do. Jane, deep breath again, but he's looking better right now. His punches have got the snap back on him. That time in between rounds seemed to have done him good, but he really needs to make the best of these next 70 seconds he's got here to try to win this fight. I have him down on my scorecards two rounds. So he really needs a big, big knockdown here just to draw even. He's finding success though, like right there when Trexler tries to close that distance, oh, he fires ooh. out that jab. He really needs to put a little bit more mustard on that. That long kicks too. Should be keeping the legs, keeping the body, keeping the face. You got to use that range. Yeah, he's oh, nice. Yeah, that's that's a cut. Beautiful uppercut. Just swarming each other now. Good Trexler, exchanges. Trexler is the, I'm impressed with him, Kate, man. This guy is the... Those Lombard guys fight really well in the phone booth, like when they're pushed up in a cage here. You can tell that they put themselves in uncomfortable situations a lot more than, than regular gyms do. He has looked phenomenal, as you said, in that fight in the phone booth. He's doing a really good job closing distance. You can see the wrestling pedigree as he goes in and touches the body. And he has such good discipline that he's not grabbing the legs and just clenching up. Like, that's the hardest thing to learn as a fighter, transferring from wrestling to oh. uh, Muay Thai. Whoa! Oh. Good, that little bit of power from Peters. Trucks is having none of it. He ate it like a dinner and just came like Whoa! Let's go, bit. Jaden Peters is exhausted. You can see that he clutches the knees again there at the end of the fight. He's going and taking that seat. How do you guys have this one scored? I mean, how do you not give it to Trexler? Trexler. I feel like I'm going in to interview uh, the short guy. Hopefully he doesn't slam me on my head. <laughs> Tell him I like his porn star. I feel like you really are the Dean Thomas of our booth here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, I love it. That's a compliment. <laughs> Don't choke me to death. <laughs> Yeah, this is a good uh, good fight. Um, classic battle, short guy versus tall guy. Um, but oh, I think the, I think the short guy got it. In three rounds. We're going to go to the scorecards on this one. It's got to be Thomas Trexler's fight. I'm trying to see if Keith Grant's around here, so maybe we can get the answer to our aforementioned question. Got him right over there. So... So Keith, while well, we got a few moments here, my friend, I just wanted to pull you over to the table here. We wanted to go back to the Rob Smith versus Gabriel Vega fight. Where does that rank in terms of the best knockouts in K4 history? Uh, it might be number two. The, a couple of shows ago, we had Isaiah Kett, our main eventer here, had a vicious knockout against Skylar Nethery. Beautiful switch kick to finish out the show. I'm certainly looking forward to the rest of this card. Hats off to you and the rest of the K4 crew, man, for putting out another beautiful event here at the Buffalo Riverworks. Thank you, thank you very much. It's got to be top two. Uh, that's a few. It's been a few. It's been pretty good. Um, Ladies and gentlemen, that was the owner matchmaker here of K4 Fighting, Keith Ferrant, giving his opinion on the knockout. Taking the time, tallying up the scorecards. It looks like our ring announcer has the official decision. Let's send it up to him. Eventually. <laughs> we 
Judge A scores a fight in favor of the blue corner. Judge B scores a fight in favor of the red corner. Split decision. And Judge C scores a fight. For your winner, by split decision, out of the blue corner, Tony! So the right guy wins the fight. I'm not so, so sure about split decision. What are you seeing there as a judge that could lead you to believe that that was a split decision? How do you give? I, yeah, I, I, I can't see that. Um, I think uh, Tressler just dominated the whole fight. I'm here with the Thomas Tressler. How do you feel after that decision? Were you nervous for the reading decision? It took a long time for the scores to come in. And now we're sitting here waiting. Usually when that happens, it's usually not a great decision. Yeah, I mean, never like it going to the judges. Luckily tonight, I got the win, so going good. It looked like you did a great job. You were dominating the stand-up. You were able to close the distance really, really well. You were able to unload the third as you came. Is there a game plan coming in? Uh, try to get on the inside and some shots. I like skates. You were really known for your wrestling, your takedown, your submissions when you came in and on the club main event. Uh, why did you take this fight in time? Uh, I need to get my stand up better, get more comfortable with my stand up, so I had to do it eventually. Man, your stand up was phenomenal. Do you think we're going to see you back at the next K4 for a rematch, or do you think you want to fight someone new? I'd love to see you guys run this back in MMA. Yeah, I mean, I'm down for anything, but MMA is the strong side, so yeah, I'm down for it for sure. We gotta get you the title up for the K4 belt, you know, because the K4 belts mean something. So let's get you back, let's get you doing some MMA. Let's see you smash some people on your head. Yeah, sounds good, man. That's what I'm best at, so thanks for having me, Keith. Thanks for my team.